Good morning and welcome to today's maths class students. My name is Purti and I will be taking your maths class. All right, so uh, first what we'll do today is we'll do a quick revision on numbers. That is what you have studied in third standard, that is four digit numbers. And then we'll move on to see what are five digit numbers in today's class. All right, so let's start with today's class then. So the new chapter is five digit numbers. So to do a quick revision on what you've learned on four digit numbers before. So you know that when you add one to the greatest three digit number, we get the smallest four digit number. So what's the greatest three digit number? It is 999. So when I add one to 999, I get the smallest four digit number, which is 1000. Okay, so I have 1000 as the smallest four digit number and what about the greatest four digit number it will be 9999 now here as you see there are some blocks right now in one place there are four blocks correct so this number is four then here for tens i have one tower of tens that is there are ten blocks okay so this is one ten so that is one ten or you can just write it as ten then for the hundreds block here, I have uh, 100 individual blocks together. Okay, 100 individual blocks to make together make 100. Okay, so this is 100. Then here I have 1000 individual blocks or 1000 ones together make 1000. So this is 1000. So here I have 1100 then 110 and 4 ones. So what is the number here? It will be 1000 plus 100 plus 10 plus 4. That is nothing but 1114. So this number is 1114. Alright, so let's see some numbers like this. Now what is, uh, let's start with ones. Okay, so how many ones are there? I have 3 ones. So I'll write down 3. Then coming to tens, I have 4 towers of tens right so i have four tens four tens is nothing but 40 and then i have two blocks here or two squares here of hundreds right so i have two hundred and i have one thousand cube or one thousand blocks here so that is one thousand so what will be the number one thousand plus two hundred plus forty plus three that is one thousand two hundred and forty three then Okay, then one more number. So, ones, five ones. Then here I have two ten blocks, right, or towers. So, here two tens or twenty, then three hundreds are there, right. So, one, two, and three. So, each has hundred blocks. So, three hundreds and this is two thousands because there are two cubes of thousand blocks. So, that is two thousands. Then 2000 plus 300 plus 20 plus 5 will be 2325. Okay. So this was something on thousands. Then which number shows 3682 in standard form? Okay. So it's given in words here. 3682. So first number here. 3, 3862 is there. Okay, but they put 3,600. So, at 100 place, I want 6. So, this is wrong. Okay, and then 6,000. This first in thousands place, I have 6. But we need 3 in thousands place because it's 3,000, not 6,000. So, this is also wrong. Then 3,286. But again, here, as I told, we need 6 in hundreds place. So, this is also wrong. So, you write it as 3,682. Okay, 3,682 is nothing but 3,000. 682. Then, which number is uh, the word name for 1423? So, here 1423 is there, correct? So, now in thousands place I have 1. So, it will be 1000. Okay, so all the 4 options are 1000. Then in hundreds place I have 4. So, that will be 400. So, 1000 over 100. Okay, so this option second and third will be uh, you can eliminate it out because it doesn't have 400, it has 200 and 300. Now, see this, 1400 and this also is 1400. Then in tens place I have 2, so that will be 20. Correct, so 1 and 3's place, sorry, 1's place I have 3, so that will be 3. 
so 1423 so first option is also out because it is 33 so the answer is 1423 okay so you write the number name as 1423 then moving on to the next some terms you all have studied in uh, fourth uh, in third standard that is odd numbers so what are odd numbers odd numbers are nothing but numbers which end in 1 3 5 7 or 9 okay so numbers which are ending in 1 3 5 7 and 9 are called odd numbers for example 99 is an odd number 109 is an odd number 101 is an odd number then uh, 995 is an odd number okay so these all the numbers which are ending in one that is which one's place has one three five seven and nine are called odd numbers then coming to even numbers even numbers are numbers which end with two four six eight or zero so the numbers which are ending in two four six eight and zero are called even numbers so for example 998 is an even number then 200 is an even number then 98 is an even number okay 24 12 okay these are all examples of even numbers so in, when in one's place you have 2 4 6 8 or 0 they are called even numbers then something uh, we, we have studied what are predecessors so predecessors are nothing but they are uh, predecessor of a number is a number that occurs just before the given number so if they've given you a number I have taken the example of 12. So if the example uh, number is 12, then predecessor of 12 would be the number just before 12. So the number just before 12 is 11, right? So predecessor of 12 is 11. Same with successor. Successor means successor of a number. It is nothing but a number which comes after the given number. So if the given number, if I take again as 12 only, so successor of 12 will be 13 because 13 comes after 12 okay the same way if i take the number 100 predecessor of 100 will be 99 successor of 100 will be 101 so this is these were some terms which we had studied odd numbers even numbers predecessors and successors now what are five digit numbers five digit numbers are nothing but now when we add one to the greatest four digit number greatest four digit number is 9999 so when I add 1 to it, I get the smallest 5 digit number which is 10,000. Now in 4 digit numbers, we had 1s, 10s, 100s and 1000s. In 5 digit numbers, we'll have 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s and 10,000s. Okay, we read it as 10,000s. Okay, so you can see this abacus here, right? So what is the number shown on the abacus? In 1s place, I have 3. Then in tens place i have how many beads one two three four five beads so i'll write five then in hundreds place i have one two three four five six seven eight and nine so i'll write nine and then in thousands place one two three four five six so six and in ten thousands place i have one two three four five six seven eight nine beads again so this is the number that is shown on the abacus that is 96,953 okay so the number is 96,953 so this is what are five digit numbers now we will see a few questions which are there in your textbook so in your textbook starting we have some warm-up exercises that is what we have already studied in third standard okay so let's see what is there Okay, so uh, your textbook page number 81. So what is there here? The first question. Okay, the first question that is there. They have asked complete the table. So we have to complete the table. They have given you description, numeral and number name. Okay, so whichever is given you have to complete this table. Now for the first one they have written smallest three digit number in the description. What is the smallest three digit number? It is 100. So in numerals you write it as 100 and the number name is? 100 so you write it as 100 like this okay so that is 100 then 
Next, they have not given any description, so we will have to write the description. What is the numeral? It is 999 and the number name is 999. So, you know that 999 is the largest three digit number. Okay, so you can write it as largest three digit number. Okay, so it is the largest three digit number. Then, uh, coming to the next one. No description and no number name also. So, you have to write both. So, the numeral here is 1 and 3 zeros. That is 1000. So, your uh, description will be smallest. So, it's, it is smallest 4 digit number. Okay. So, smallest 4 digit number. And then, in your number name will be 1000. The number name will be 1000. So, you write it as 1 okay then next one largest four digit number is the description so numeral will be 9999 so you write it like this then the number name is okay it will not fit here so I am writing it down it will be 9000 and 99 okay 99 so this is how you write the number name for 9999. Okay, so we completed the table. Alright, so we'll move on to question number 2. So in question number 2 here we have rearrange and write the numerals. Okay, so you have to write the numerals for this. So you have 5000, then this is 4 tens plus 3 hundreds plus 1 ones. So, 5000s and 4 tens, T means tens, TH means thousand, H means hundred and O is ones. So, 5000, 4 tens they have given, 300s and 1 ones. So, how will you rearrange it? It will be rearranged as 5000s plus 300s plus 4 tens plus 1 ones. How will you write it in numerals? You write it as 5, then in hundreds place we have 3, tens place we have 4 and ones place we have one okay so the number is five three four one same with the next one we'll do so here they have given seven hundreds three ones and zero tens so the zero tens will come after hundred so seven hundred zero tens and three ones okay so seven in hundreds place in ones place there is zero and in uh, tens sorry in tens place the zero and ones place there is three so the number is seven zero three next one now, 1 ones, 3 tens, 6 thousands and 4 hundreds. So, thousands place, what is there? 6 is there. The hundreds place, 4 is there. Tens place, 3 and ones place, 1. So, the number is 6, 4, 3, 1. Okay. Then, question number 3. Seven uh, write the numerals. You write, you have to write the numerals. You have given the number names. Okay. So, the first number is 7,358. So, 7,358, it will be 7,358, then 4,071, 4,000, then they have given 71, no hundreds is there, so in hundreds place there will be 0, then 7, 1, okay, then last one, 5,205, so 5,000, then 200 is there, but there is no tens place, so that will be 0, and then 5, 5 to 0, 5. Okay, then fill in the blanks. The successor of 6159 is what? Successor means the number after the given number. So, 6159. After 6159, we have 6160. So, this is the successor. Then predecessor of 484389, they are asking. So, what is that? It will be predecessor means the number before. So, 4388. And then expand form of 7. Expanded form of 7209. So, how we will write it? We will write it as, so we have to uh, completely separate all the place values. So, place value of 7 is 7000, then 2 is 200, then 0 you will just put plus 0 or you it's okay if you don't write also. Then we have 9. So, this is how you write the expanded form. Okay. Okay, then we have the predecessor of 3000. What is the predecessor of 3000? 
it is the number before 3000 which is 2999 then the largest four digit even number okay largest four digit even number will be 9998 okay then smallest four digit number using the digits 1570 so you'll start with the smallest digit i know the smallest digit is 0 but we can't start with 0 because if you start with 0 then the number will become a three digit number so we'll start with 1 then we'll put 0 then 5 and 7 so this is the smallest four digit number using these digits okay then question number 5 i want you to do question number 5 for homework so question 5 is your homework all right so solve question number 5 for homework you have to round off the numbers then we studied what are five digit numbers correct so there is something called quick check here over here in page number 83 this so here they have told show the numbers on the abacus given below they have given you abacus for five digits is a ones tens hundreds thousands and ten thousands and they have given you some numbers below here so this is 10001 so you have to show here uh, beads so you can use different colors so you can draw one bead then like that if in one place there's one so you will draw one bead zero uh, tens hundreds ten thousands all are zero so you will not do anything and then in ten thousands place there's one so you will draw one bead again okay so the same way complete all four for your homework so complete question number 5 and the quick check on page number 83 for your homework all right so students i'll see you all in the next class thank you